Hello, children. I think you're getting used to our little oratory here in, in Bishop Eden. This is our little chapel where Jesus is present in the Blessed Sacrament and we say our prayers. And I just wanted to share a message with you before half term because it's a long time since I was able to organize some little sessions for you. I remember before Christmas we were working out and planning how to make our cribs um, and it was lovely to be able to share that with you. So uh, these difficult times stay with us because the schools are being closed again and although quite a few of you are getting to school because of the special circumstances in your family, uh, lots of you are also at home. So I'm hoping our three schools, and I know they will, Much Woolton, uh, Bishop Eaton and Carlton House, that they'll organise, whether you're at school, whether you're at home, um, to get this little message through to you. You may have noticed something about Freddie Freckles today. Well, for a bit of fun, uh, I put a mask on him. <laughs> but in a sense, it's not funny because, unfortunately, just in the last few days, we've discovered that this awful coronavirus has got into Bishop Eaton Monastery. One of our priests is in hospital, Father Tony Hunt. He's got lots of health problems, bless him. Uh, but he is doing very well because we, most of us have had the vaccination, so hopefully that's helping. But uh, we are all a bit sad. And two other priests have tested positive and they're up in their rooms and they can't come out. And those of us who haven't tested positive, we're trying to look after them, but we have to go around and keep out of one another's way. We can't even come into our oratory together now to say our prayers. We're having to say our prayers by ourselves until this time passes. So I'm asking you to say a little prayer for us all, please. And I'll say a little prayer with you at the end, not just for us, but for everybody in our parishes and everybody who needs our prayers. Okay, you may have heard the phrase, a lot of water has passed under the bridge. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'm sure a lot of you know it. We think about a river and a bridge going over the river and the water flowing down the river. And it means that lots of things have been happening. And lots of things have been happening since I last spoke to you. Well, I've just told you about one of them that's happened here in our monastery. And we're all having to cope with coronavirus, with COVID-19 in our different ways. Well, a lot of water has passed under the bridge since Father Tim's golden anniversary of ordination, which was last summer in July. And lots of you sent me messages, the schools, the parishes, and uh, a little group down in St. Mary's produced this wonderful story. So this is a story about Freddie Freckles that I didn't write, but it was linked with my anniversary, and it reminds us of how much water's gone under the bridge. So I thought I'd read you this story today, and then I'll have a little challenge for you at the end, okay? So let's listen to the story. This was written down there in St. Mary's Parish to mark my special day. And it's called The Big Celebration. Freddie loved parties. He especially loved family parties when everyone from all over the country came together to celebrate special birthdays and anniversaries. He looked forward to seeing his cousins playing tag, sliding across the dance floor, and eating cake. Freddie and his cousins often played together on Xbox and had a laugh, but it was much better when they were all together and they could carry on with their lifelong game of tag. This year, they had been looking forward to Greg's 18th birthday party. They were all going to stay in a hotel in Newcastle and were already planning an active weekend and a big party in a local hall. But this year, their plans changed. COVID-19. Freddie hated it. He missed going to school. Mum and Dad were OK, but they were not as clever as Mrs Pace and his sister was not as much fun as his school friends. Mum had explained that staying at home was important to protect people, and Freddie did understand, really. Besides, it was fun to go to school and to mass in his slippers. He still really wanted to be with his big cousin on his special birthday, though. Mum had a plan. They couldn't be together for a party, but they could still have a party. On Greg's birthday, Mum was busy baking a cake. Cake? Why? They couldn't go to Newcastle, could they? She put up banners and party balloons and set the table with sandwiches, jelly and cake. At eight o'clock in the evening, they joined their family celebration online. Greg was delighted to see all his cousins and when they sang happy birthday, each house brought in their own cake and blew out the candles together. 
They couldn't play tag or slide across the floor together, but they could still celebrate. A few weeks later, Freddie had been helping Mum with her lockdown project. She was taking old tapes and copying them onto her computer so that she could share happy memories with her family. So why was she crying? She explained that they were happy tears because she had been watching her mum and dad's golden wedding celebration and it was wonderful to see so many friends and family coming together to celebrate 50 years since the day they were married. Before the party, they had a special mass and Freddie's nan and granddad received a very special blessing from the Pope. They were just so happy. At the party, there were lots of people, friends from years, and, uh, years ago and lots of others, and they had met that they had met over the years and, of course, their family. Freddie remembered it too. It was a special celebration because even though he was still only six, he had been allowed to stay up late and join his first big party. There was cake, a slidey dance floor, a massive game of tag, and a bubble machine. They danced and burst the bubbles while sliding and playing tag. It was bliss. Mum made a boring speech, but people laughed. Then Granddad thanked everyone and told them all how lucky he and Nan were to have such good friends, and his biggest thank you was for his grandkids. Freddie, his sister, and his cousins. Grandad enjoyed time with them the best. The last thing Freddie remembered was falling asleep and being carried to the car in his dad's arms. All that tag makes you tired. This gave Freddie a great idea. Mum had mentioned that another party had been planned for this year to celebrate 50 years since Father Tim became a priest. He knew that the adults in both parishes and Father Tim's friends and family would be disappointed that they would not be able to celebrate together. He was sure that Father Tim was looking forward to all that cake, playing tag with his friends and sliding on the dance floor too. So what could they do instead? He thought about Greg's celebration. They all came together to sing Happy Birthday but what would be the right song to sing for someone who was celebrating 50 years as a priest? And then he thought of Father Tim's favourite song. He sings it every time they have a school mass and all of his friends join in with the actions. So all together now. And of course, they sang, it's me, it's me, it's me that builds the family. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it for you now. I did that a little while ago when we ended one of these sessions. But anyway, you sing it to your heart's content if you're in a safe place. But what I do want to say to you is uh, thanks again for all those messages of goodwill. Thanks for that story. And why don't you think about writing a story about COVID-19, because it's still with us, as you can see, and think of a story about Freddie Freckles and how helping people during this difficult time, or whatever, uh, just a story that will bring joy and peace to everybody as we struggle in these different ways. And maybe you could work on that with your family or if you're in school um, with some of your friends and your teachers. I don't know, I leave it with you. But wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a whole load of wonderful new stories about Freddie? And maybe you could even use half term to be thinking about that. They don't need to be long stories, as you could see, but just thoughtful stories which will get us all thinking. And if you get them to me, well, I'll have a look at them. And who knows, they may go and be read and shared by lots of other people. So thanks for listening to me this morning. Have a wonderful half term. Thanks to all the teachers and parents and all of you for keeping going during these difficult times. So shall we just say a little prayer? Lord, you know us. You know our needs. We ask you to bless each one of us and to fill us with your peace at this difficult time. I ask your blessing on the priests and brothers here at Bishop Eaton. I ask your blessing on all the families in our parishes and all those who will join in this little time together. Lord, reach out, strengthen and bless us with the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Give us courage to face the future and give us the peace that we need to look after one another. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful half term and bye-bye for now.